In today's lesson, we will identify Florida's water world and Florida's waterway importance. Today's vocabulary words are wetlands, erosion, filtration, and recharge. Hi everyone. Now, today, we'll be talking to you about Florida's water flow and why it's so important. Now, in order to begin, we have to dive into our west coast, which is going to be the Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf of Mexico's waters are so warm to the point where they help form the climate, the subtropical flat climate that we call home here in Florida. And it not only helps with the climate, it also helps in the creation and the formation of hurricanes. Now those warm waters not only helps with the creation of hurricanes and also our climate, but it also helps in the creation of our coastal ecosystem that's dealing with wetlands, that's dealing with estuaries, that's dealing with reefs, as well as mangroves. Now, it creates a sort of buffer zone, that coastal wetland, or those coastal zones. And it helps in the prevention of hurricane, or of storm surge, of erosion. Diving back in, coming from our west coast, which is Gulf of Mexico, and heading over to our neighbor, which is going to be the Atlantic Ocean in the east. Now, the Atlantic Ocean is driven by the Gulf Stream. Now, the Gulf Stream provides local and global climate changes, as well as nutrient cycling. And just like our Gulf of Mexico, our Atlantic Ocean provides a ecosystem service, which is going to be our coastal ecosystems. Again, that is wetlands, estuaries, reefs, mangroves. So now we're getting into more of the importance of the water flow. Now, we're going down into the Everglades. The Everglades, sometimes known as the River of Grass, because the water flowing from Lake Okeechobee moves at a slow rate. And once it comes from Lake Okeechobee, it goes down all the way to Florida Bay. Now, that water that's coming from the Lake Okeechobee as well as the Florida Bay is filtering out pollutants that you and I drink on a daily basis. Speaking of drinking water, the water that we consume, that over 8 billion people consume, comes from the Biscayne Aquifer here in Miami. But it needs to be recharged from rainfall and surface water. But it's at risk of being depleted and also of having salt water intrude into its natural water flow, polluting our drinkable water. What might happen if the Everglades suddenly disappeared? How can we protect our water from pollution as well as saltwater intrusion? Our top three takeaways, Florida's water systems, oceans, rivers, aquifers, all connected. Number two, wetland and aquifers help clean and store our water. And lastly, we must protect these natural systems from overuse, pollution, and rising seas. This program is designed by Context of a Generation, funded by the Miami Foundation. A very special thank you to our partners at Wool Studios.